Mishle, Proverbs 27. Boast not yourself of tomorrow, for you know not what a day may bring forth. Let another man praise you, and not your own mouth, a stranger, and not your own lips. A stone is heavy, and the sand weighty, but a fool's wrath is heavier than them both. Wrath is cruel, and anger is outrageous. But who is able to stand before envy? Open rebuke is better than secret love. Faithful are the wounds of a friend, but the kisses of an envy enemy are deceitful. The full soul loathes a honeycomb, but... To the hungry soul, every bitter thing is sweet. As a bird that wanders from her nest, so is a man that wanders from his place. Ointment and perfume rejoice the heart. So does the sweetness of a man's friend by hearty counsel. Your own friend and your father's friend forsake not. Neither go into your brother's house in the day of your calamity. For better is a neighbor that is near than a brother far off. My son, be wise and make my heart glad that I may answer him that reproaches me. A prudent man foresees the evil and hides himself, but the simple pass on and are punished. Take his garment that is surety for a stranger, and take a pledge of him for a strange woman. He that blesses his friend with a loud voice, rising early in the morning, it shall be counted a curse to him. A continual dropping in a very rainy day, and a contentious woman are alike. Whosoever hides her, hides the wind and the ointment of his right hand, which berays itself. Iron sharpens iron, so a man sharpens the countenance of his friend. Whoso keeps the fig tree shall eat the fruit thereof, so he that waits on his master shall be honored. As in water face answers to face, so the heart of man to man. Sheol and destruction are never full, so the eyes of man are never satisfied. As the fining pot for silver and the furnace for gold, so is a man to his praise. Though you should bray at a fool in a mortar among wheat with a pestle, yet will not his foolishness Depart from him. Be diligent to know the state of your flocks, and look well to your herds. For riches are not forever, and does the crown endure to every generation? The hay appears, and the tender grass shows itself, and herbs of the mountains are gathered. The lambs for your clothing and the goats are the price of the field. Rather, the lambs are for your clothing, and the goats are the price of the field. And you shall have goat's milk enough for your food, for the food of your household, and for the maintenance for your maidens.